Twitter. Should I stay or should I go? What do you think, Fennell? I was really disappointed when he let 45 back on. And I really was disappointed when Kanye came back on. I'm disappointed for all of that. But I think that just because you're a genius in one thing doesn't mean you're a genius in everything. And I, I think that so far, uh, he has proven himself to be an utter failure at this and running this business. And um, it's either going to just burn down or someone else is going to take it over because I can't see it sustaining itself. I mean, think about this. More than half of their advertisers have left. That's how Twitter really survives. They made $2 billion in ads last year, and they're losing that. So I think that's going to be a problem. So I think that if he wants to be profitable, then he's going to have to change his ways. If not, the whole thing's going to blow up. The thing that I've noticed, really the only negative thing that I've noticed is that people who I would say are like-minded to me have started tweeting about EM. And in my opinion, they need to shut the, you know, up because this is what gives him life is when people are, he's a narcissist. He loves this. He's like Kanye that way. He's gonna do something else outlandish too, right? But in the meantime, I have a plan. I'm on post and I am loving it there. I signed up for Reddit, but I haven't done anything yet with it. I know, I don't know what it is. I'm just trying out stuff. I don't know. Uh, so someone said that it was younger people on there and you could get a different point of view. So I haven't done anything. I just, I just signed up. It's not even really an app. I don't know what it is. So I haven't read anything or looked at anything. I just wanted to see what else is out there. I'm curious. And, uh, and I'm still on Twitter. I, but, but I haven't gotten any horrible, really racist stuff. Uh, today I looked on and I saw something where someone had posted Stephanie rule. Someone came on her porch and took her child's, took a package and it was her child's Christmas costume for a play. And so she had that, uh, she had the uh, little video on there. So I watched that and, and then someone responded back. That's what you get for having, um, going so light on crime or something. And I, I did respond back, but, um, I just couldn't help myself. And what I said back was really, really, is that what you got? Because we, I'm sure that Stephanie would let her kid not have her activity outfit to trade for the kids in Uvalde. You, and I bet you didn't get a reply from that person after I'm that. sure I'm not going to, because I'm just saying to her, you know, someone stole something off the porch and you think that's more important than maybe gun legislation. So really, lady, really? It is sort of ridiculous anytime there is any crime any place. <laughs> My mailbox at the corner got vandalized, those damn Democrats. You know, it's just like, let's put it into context. Crime is pretty much everywhere. Maybe a little bit more where lots of people live, like the cities. Uh, but, you know, out in the rural areas, that's where you have, like, you know, the serial killers hacking off heads and leaving them in swamps and stuff. I mean, they can get away with that kind of stuff. They just have to do it one at a time, hack them all up. I, I, I know. I'm a crime you know, right now. <laughs> I, I know. Well, you know, this is what's really funny. So I watch all the crime shows, right? Because I just, I, I watch them. So anytime that anybody is murdered or something happens, I go, oh, just look at the family because they did it. Because <laughs> all <laughs> I was like, well, you better look at the family because they're probably the ones who did it. It just cracks me up. My mom and I do that together. So we think that's uh, we can solve any crime because it's either the husband, the wife, the grandchildren, the son, the daughter. We can solve it. Well, they do have proximity. They have motivation. <laughs> we can go on and on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if yeah, if someone, yeah, if you're going to kill, don't kill a member of your family. Go kill a transient. Go, go kill a drifter. You'll get away with it. <laughs> you know, what's really interesting is, is that oh. when we talk about, when we talk about these crimes, disgusted with me. Sorry for that. <laughs> but, but really though, the crime statistics though, really when we're talking about them, usually they are in families. They are people who know people. Mm -hmm. They get caught. Did you ever see Strangers on a Train? Did you see the movie Strangers on a Train, the Hitchcock movie? They swap, the suggestion is swap the murders. Like Mary, I'll kill your cousin and you kill my wife because no one will suspect you of killing my wife and I'll have an alibi because I'll be at the movies while you kill my wife and then in exchange, I kill your cousin. Oh, you gotta see this yes. movie. I've seen that many times. You know, I'm a Law & Order fan, so I've seen it many times, but they always get caught. 